Welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday! Squared paper can be really handy to practice lettering, so let's use that today. To make sure my letters will fit onto the paper and next to each other in a fairly neat way, I decide each letter will measure 4 by 5 squares on the paper. And I measure them all out for the word I will be writing slash drawing. Then I draw the letters, using my imagination for different fonts and styles. This is a simple and quick exercise, but of course you can take much longer to create a very pretty and neat effect. Study fonts online and in magazines for example, to find out about interesting shapes and font styles that you can use and try to mimic. When you draw in pencil first and then trace your letters in pen or marker for example, then wait a little bit before you start erasing the pencil lines. The ink needs to be dried completely, otherwise it will stain your drawing. You can color the letters or make fun patterns in them, add shadows, paint them and create a fun banner around them, using the squares again. If you exercise and experiment a lot, you will see that it will get easier to draw letters without lined or squared paper and match them in size. Have fun! Thank you for watching this video! I hope you liked it and if you did, you may want to have a look at my website koshekoene.nl and maybe you can join one of my classes.